Hello once again everybody, welcome back to Full Play Games. Today we are starting Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, I know a lot of people um, have various issues with this game, and um, fair enough, that, that opinion is, is uh, justified in many cases. It has been a while since it's come out, so many of the issues will have been patched. Um, the problem, of course, is that they very rarely release a game in uh, <laughs> in a bug-free condition. Anyway, um, I actually quite like this game. So, uh, yeah, we'll just create a new character. I'm offline because EA wants me to create an account in order for online stuff. I don't particularly want online stuff. <laughs> I don't particularly want online stuff. It's a single-player game. At least as far as I'm concerned. So, currently offline, you will not be able to import or export your character data. Yeah, that's fine. Why do I want to import or export character data? <laughs> ah, anyway, yes, my character is going to be female, as always. Um, I don't particularly mind that. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Head one, head two. Why does it take so long to load them? I'm sure they didn't look this strange last time I played it. Nah, screw it. <laughs> Uh, default appearance. Ah, that's good enough. Just go defaults. <laughs> yeah, choose my training. Uh, security, that's kind of your your military soldier sort of thing. But they're kind of trying to downplay the the military aspect. Oh, your biotic, your engineer. And then you've got the ones where they kind of a bit of both. Uh, I just go security, to be honest. <laughs> Because um, the rest of your team can be biotic and engineering. Choose name. You know, it, it's the name. They they don't say it anywhere, so why bother? Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> Inherit customized appearance. Didn't seem to make an awful lot of difference. So history. Yeah, female shepherd. That's all fine. To be honest, it's pretty much just... Um, it's pretty much just normal. Uh, we haven't really tinkered with anything, have we? I don't know. Let's go with the redhead. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's see. So we start with that. Skin. Uh, that's really kind of pale and freckly. I'm not entirely sure I like that one. Uh, fairly normal. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, um, we can make the skin a bit darker. So if we do go with that one. She, <laughs> she looks kind of red. Like red in the face there, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, kind of a bit too pink. See that? Yeah, that's kind of a bit too pink, but that one's more of a brown. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Uh, brow, it's all fine. Oh, we can rotate them. That's fine. Uh, let's go that way so we can sort of see things. That's all fine. That's all fine. Yeah. Eyes. Can we change eye colour or anything? No. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll go with that one. Because, um, yeah, I didn't really like the way the the other character was like really really absurdly pale actually can we, uh, we, we only went through face didn't we uh, hairstyle oh wow is it really gonna do this on every hairstyle um, oh, it's kind of got a bit of a bob on the back okay pretty much bald very short Let's get back to where we were. I guess I pressed the wrong buttons. 
Yeah, they're, they're definitely uh, military style, practical haircuts. There's a lot of very short ones. Basically. Maybe it's just me, but I don't see an awful lot of difference in some of these. <laughs> Oh right, that was it. That was the difference in that one. How did I miss the afro? Okay, <laughs> that's all sort of slicked back. You know, this is the kind of hair that a a bad a bad guy would wear. <laughs> wear. You don't wear a hairstyle. You sort of grow it, don't you? I kind of want a bit of length. You know, number ten's all right because it's got a bit of a thing at the back. Oh, there we go. That's got a bit of length on it. It's obviously going to be tied up. That's just really messy. Fine, if that's the look you're going for. Yeah, still trying to decide. There are quite a lot of these that are very, very similar. Which one was it? I think it was 10? I like the look of. Yes, and... Which is the other one with a bit of a punch to that one? Yeah, we'll go with that one, I think. Hair colour. Seems alright, but we'll have a look at the options. Is that actually changing anything? Oh, it is. Ever so slightly. <laughs> There's, like, no difference between those two options. Oh, there's our weird colours. <laughs> Should we? Uh, I, I think we keep it normal. Yeah, let, let's just go with that. Now we can change eye colours. To be honest, that's fine. That's fine. Makeup. Yeah. Scars, tattoos. We'll have a look at tattoos. <laughs> oh, wow. Digital eyeshadow. Can't even see any from this side. Oh, they're up on the forehead. I'm not entirely sure why you'd have those. Nah, let's not have a tattoo. I think we've spent enough time um, creating our character. <laughs> it's basically normal. Basically normal. Looks alright. Nothing particularly strange. Um, excuse me while I make this piss easy. There we go. <laughs> I don't like too much of a challenge in my games. I'm here for the story. And exploration and stuff. You know that. We should have subtitles on. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Yes, we do. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown, Others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. I do love the music in this today, game, though. We begin to make our dream reality. I really do. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> in the year 2185, humanity lives in a golden era of interstellar travel, and I believe this is going a bit quicker than I can actually read out loud, so, yeah. So yeah, we all know the history of Mass Effect by now, don't we? We found ruins, technology, well hey! <laughs> so yes, we're heading off to Andromeda. Which is kind of strange, really. It takes you so long to get there. 
just so long. <laughs> 634 years. Imagine that. Anyone you knew and left behind will be long dead by then. You really are just leaving them behind. It's, it's like, if you knew someone going away on this thing, you knew you'd never see them again. You'd never hear from them again. It would be as if they died, essentially. It just boggles the mind, that kind of thing. An awful lot of cinematics to start this thing off. Habitat 7 in the Helios Cluster. And we're waking up. It's just really weird, all those pods. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, Sarah, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get her a cup of coffee? That sounds first? boring, to be honest. Summer all year round, it would get incredibly dry very quickly. The thing about tropical is that it rains a lot. Sarah Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates or golden worlds, the Helios cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Okay, our first choice. <laughs> These really don't make all that much difference. Easy's not fun, or it's what we drain for. That ah, casual. I hope not. Signed up for a little adventure before we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah? Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's cool. test your Sam implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Sarah. Are you feeling well? <laughs> Why would you not know about your implant? I just need a second to get my bearings. Uh, what's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still live. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? So, yeah, the, um... Animations aren't the best. I have seen better. But it's that whole uncanny valley thing. Even if you did mocap, um, it would still look a bit strange, I think. I'm ready to get to it. Readings confirmed. I detect an increased level of adrenaline in your system. The neural implant is functioning properly. Can't explore space without my coffee. You're all done. Let's get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Nope, neither do I. Yeah, all that crap's not good. <laughs> the gravity goes off at just the right time. What's happening? It broke free. Just hang on. Engineering, report. Try to brace yourself. 
It's kind of cool. <laughs> that woman over there is trying. Is trying so much to stand back up again. This is Cora. I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get. Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Scott Doesn't Ryder. sound like we're going to be getting up there quickly. So yeah. What's wrong? A lot of the images on here seem to be very reminiscent of the um, satisfactory world. I mean, not some of these ones, but certainly earlier they were. Ooh. Oh, of course, you got to hold it down. Sarah, is my brother okay? Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. All right, so let's be logical about this, or emotional. Should we be logical? Or emotional. <laughs> Let's be logical. When can he wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Scott's implant was suspended. However, his pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Fair enough. Right. I'll wait for you at the door whenever you're ready to go. Right, okay, thank you. I just need to have a little look around. <laughs> so let's talk to Lexi. Once it actually lets us, because we did activate that, didn't we? Okay. <laughs> Would that be the first bug? Hi there. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. Yeah, this is a massive info dump. So, uh, yeah, if if you want to skip this, uh, please do. I'll put a time code, I think, on the screen now. At present, our Kyperion has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Further mission updates are offline due to technical difficulties. As recon specialist, you are tasked with supporting the authentication of Golden World sites through exploration, mapping, and scientific analysis. Currently, you are to report for duty on the command bridge. So it does at least know who we are. That's nice. The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including arcs, pathfinders, outposts, and the central support hub, the Nexus. The current location of the Nexus is unknown. Status of outposts are unknown. That's not good. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. I think it's important we take a moment to reflect on the principles that brought all of us together. It started with a vision of a better future. A vision that you shape. Life in Andromeda can be anything we dare to dream. And I'm proud to help make those dreams come true. Drop me a note sometime. I'd love to hear how we're doing. As if they would. Uh, listen to anything that anyone else, like lower down in the hierarchy, has to say. Your current location is Ark Hyperion, housing the human population. Ark Parchero, the Salarian vessel, confirmed departure in 2185. The Asari ship, Ark Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Ark Natanis, embarking in 2185. I see. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of ARCs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Once the Pathfinder team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected as the most likely candidate for colonization. Yeah, we'll see how well that goes. <laughs> so, um, yeah. It's kind of weird how they have all this information on separate screens. The is responsible for exploring and, and they're not in any kind of order. For outpost placement and settlement. 
Each ARC is led by a Pathfinder who represents their species. The active duty Pathfinder assigned to ARC Hyperion is Alec Ryder. Current duty roster shows you are assigned to the Pathfinder mission team, Specialist Ryder. Yeah, that's kind of the problem with having a whole family doing it and the, um, what's the word? Yeah, the, the military style thing of referring to people by their surnames. <laughs> it kind of breaks down when you've got like three people all called Ryder. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. Well, you were doing quite well there, trying to regain your feet. <laughs> A date pad over here. Remember, look at everything. Exactly where we're supposed to be. Oh, it's the message from the captain. Right, fine. All stasis medical personnel should report for duty immediately. Give the Pathfinder mission team revival priority. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Reports of an unusual celestial phenomenon in the cluster are being investigated. Yes. Yes, it, um... It kind of messed us up there, didn't it? Didn't it? So there's this dude who... I don't remember at all from my previous playthrough. Who's not going? Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, true. Did those things just just tidy themselves as I walked into them? They tell you where we're going? No, just have the shuttles prepped to fly. This Kirkland dude. Alright, fine. No one else? Oh, there's a data pad over here. Message from Jane Garson. First day in Andromeda. In a few short hours, you'll be leaving the high period and join thousands of your fellow con lists. <laughs> Alright, I promise you'll be worth it. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> I think Dr. Carlisle has the right idea there. Right, let's go. Surely I'd talk to you to get moving, not just walk up to the door. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Obviously, still like hey, tutorial. Whatever hit the arc fried everything. We have to balance the power loader and it explodes. But we don't know where the fault is. Ryder yes, can yes. <laughs> Quick, Ryder, use it to locate the fault. You could have told me that earlier. Hey, we're going to the second conduit. 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 Oh, I found it. Found it. Bad relay. Ryder. Go reset it. Oh, up there. Right, fine. Get rid of that. Go up here. There. Just press it's Y reset. on it. <laughs> you sound surprised. Of course, we're job, faced Ryder. with a. Uh, now we can get to the train. Of course, we're faced with a problem right out of the bat. We have absolutely no time to get ourselves oh, up to close. speed and acquainted. And we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. Why don't you press the button? You're nearest. <laughs> It's whoever's nearest the door, or the the panel that pushes the button in the lift. Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. Look they at won't that last. stuff. What's our position? 
Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust to sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. You really should learn to take advice from people you know, mate. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? Yeah, I tend to agree with her, to be honest. She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. Don't give me that look. My it's her God. ship. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. Yeah, it doesn't look very hospitable, All of our does it? Chance told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. But that was 600 years ago, mate. It doesn't even look the same. We don't know how bad it is yet. Still seems like it's our best shot. Maybe. That's not it's entirely what I said. <laughs> Sam, the energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. We certainly do. Not. As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Yeah, I severely Our doubt that that's home. Be awake by Doesn't now. look like it. Up two shuttles. Planet fallen 30. Yes, sir. Now, see, this is the problem. I've played this. A I've played this game. One, I've played this game all the way through already. I've completed it. It's fine. But I kind of know how the game goes now. <laughs> um, He takes off to me. Stubborn runs in the family. Guess I rubbed off on him. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. So yes, I definitely cut the captain some slack. I mean, she's under a lot of stress right now. She can be a bit acerbic. That's fine. I think she's allowed. My brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in our blood. I was born a minute ahead of him. <laughs> I never let him forget it. Of course. Twins are Don't like worry. that. I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does, he'll want to hear stories. So, let's get out there and find him one. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. <laughs> good luck rock. It's an old superstition of your dad's. So, uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> water cooler. <laughs> Data pad. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff to interact with. I'm not even going to read all this out. That's just a list of stuff that we need to do. Water cooler. That or not, a bathroom breaks on this trip. <laughs> so everybody else's locker. I mean, we don't really get to come back here and do this. Hang in there, Scott. But it, it, it's open now. Looks like Dad's already suited up. <laughs> We're just looking in each other's uh, lockers. Ah, uh, that presumably be the music. Get the helmet. Presumably the weapons. I've opened the armaments locker. Are we expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. I mean, it's a very good thing to do. Better safe than sorry. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely. Know. Now let's get to the shuttle. The um, 
The thing is, you're expecting to meet some form of life down there? Good luck, Rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. It caught him from falling. The way things are going today, we'll need any luck we can get. So, it, yeah. he just brought it with him? <laughs> so just another boring day at the office, huh? Pretty much. Um, hmm. <laughs> I hadn't noticed. Well, you know, I run into giant space cloud nebulas all the time. It'll be fine. It keeps <laughs> us on our toes. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. Never know. Let's keep an eye out. And our distance. <laughs> On that note, time to get to the shuttle. Indeedy. Let's get moving. We scanned Andromeda. Everything was in the clear. How could things change like that? Analysis indicates alkali feldspar and quartz. Oh wow, we can scan everybody. <laughs> Liqu liquid water is present. <laughs> the structures of water dispenser. Can we scan everybody? <laughs> Why scan everybody? It sounds ridiculous. And that's the wrong button. There we go. So let's get going. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. Absolutely. It's what we hope it is. It'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step. I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. <laughs> All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent, given the situation. We'll be down a man with Scott out. I heard what happened. Your brother's strong. He'll make it. I mean, yeah, that's one of the only times we actually hear somebody speak a first name. Scott wouldn't want us to worry because of him. You're right. The mission comes first. Though, it's certainly more of a priority. I doubt your mother would have seen it that way. I promised her I'd get you two here safely. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up. That we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. I wonder if that speech was more for him than us, because we all know how important this is. I mean, the music in this game is pretty cool. I mean, I actually got the soundtrack, so yeah. Ah. It looks solid, wouldn't it be dark matter? I mean, there's plenty of dark matter around. Oh, 
What's his cruising speed? We didn't have a chance to meet back in the Milky Way. Name's Liam Costa, security and response specialist. Good to meet you, Liam. Hard to believe Folly doing this. Sure beats reading the brochures. Our <laughs> That's right. I mean, I would be sitting down and strapped in. I wouldn't just be um, standing up like this, but there we are. That's just me. Certainly doesn't. Yeah, that's not good either. Fantastic. Acceleration <laughs> increasing. No kidding! Your jump jet is malfunctioning. Get it working! Approaching terminal velocity. Sam! Oh dear. <laughs> Fix it quickly. <laughs> That's very convenient. Low resolution textures eventually replaced by higher ones. That's a hell of a view. This is Ryder. Come in. Uh, Hyperion. Sam. Anyone there? Save your breath, oh, Ryder. Right, we're not quite Sam's on our own. Online. That's nice. I'm surprised we aren't too. Let's be Did professional. I don't know. It was all a blur. Shuttle split in two. This is like some nightmare. Yeah. No way this is home. That is very true. Looks like we're gonna find some high ground. See if anyone else is alive. Come on. Ryder, how's your survival training? I've seen my share of troubles. Nothing crazy, but. Well, and that's first contact. Those rocks out there are floating. <laughs> Terra incognita. Absolutely. So I think that is a fantastic place to leave it. Like tentacles. Shut so up, Liam. Even water? <laughs> Shut up, Liam. I'm talking. <laughs> I think that's a very good place to stop. Uh, so thanks very much for watching, and join me for part two. Those structures we saw on the way in. Who could survive in a place like this? Not sure we want to find out. Goodbye.